When I talk to new photographers and they ask me how do I develop a signature style, I like to remind them where you start isn't where you have to finish. I got my first publication right out of university. It was for Fashion Fair magazine. I shot them in a black backdrop with a really harsh beauty dish and I would change it now, but at the time I was so proud. By grade 12, I was doing photography full time and I was doing dance headshots. I was doing the headshots for the school play and I knew this is what I wanted to do. And when I went into university, I wasn't really sure the genre I wanted to do. In my second year, a photography teacher told me that people weren't my thing. I just went out to prove them wrong. Perfect. I got some friends, I got some clothing, I did the makeup myself, and I just kept shooting. Without him telling me that, I wouldn't have pushed myself and I keep pushing myself and I still remember those words to this day. And especially when I got that first rejection letter from a magazine, I thought, yeah, this, you know, this career isn't for me. But if anything, you sulk about it for a little bit and then you keep trying and then when you get that acceptance letter that, oh, you're in a magazine or we love your work, we want to showcase it, it is the best feeling. that little bit of rejection and being in a slump, you need to do that to grow. So this one I shot in 2016, it was uh, one light and we created something really beautiful with the glitter that I got from the dollar store. My process for developing my style was very experimental. Sometimes it can be very feminine in my work and then sometimes it can be very darker on the darker side. So it kind of goes between both of those. One, two, three. As a photographer, you can develop your style by lighting. I'm going to shoot a little bit and then I'm going to show you the light motive with the diffusers, what two diffusers will do, what one, and then how you can get different contrast by taking the diffusers out. Composition is a big one. How you direct your models, you can usually tell by a photograph how well that person has been directed. Bring that hand up, down a little bit, and then just twist a little bit. Perfect, yes. Nice. You know, I'm, I'm a very shy, reserved person, and coming into this industry, I realized very quickly that um, that's not gonna happen. You know, you kinda had to be a little bit more outgoing. So don't be afraid to talk to your model. When the models came in for makeup, start asking them questions. You know, where are you from? How old you are? How long have you been modeling? You know, they really love to talk about their modeling career and where they see themselves going. And that just really breaks down the barrier. You feel more comfortable, they feel more comfortable, and then when they're in front of your camera, there's no awkwardness, and then you feel better directing them. Because this is girly, like we don't want to make this like sexual or anything. We want to make this fun and flirty, something you would see in Seventeen magazine. That's a little sexual. <laughs> I'm going to tell her beforehand, right? Fashion photography is really simple. I feel it's very focused on soft. It's There's not a lot of makeup. There's not a lot of hairstyling. It's focusing on the clothes, the posing, and the model. I want the whole body. I want the shoes. I want everything. We don't want the clothes to wear her. We want her to wear the clothes. My favorite images never end up being what I planned. And that's what I love about it. It was a couple of gels, one beauty dish, she had a dress on from Value Village, and we used tinfoil fluorescent tubes. And then for beauty photography, I just felt like I was in a slump. You know, I was doing the same kind of thing, one light, one reflector, and I wanted to try something different. So I got some candy wrappers and I cut some crazy shapes out of it and I just put them in front of my lens and I did some harsher lighting and I think that's where I'm going with beauty photography too. Just experimenting and not keeping everything the same. The makeup artist wanted to try some really cool makeup. So I thought, perfect. Put gold lips on, she had black, and then she started doing black dripping down. The model had kind of messed up her makeup a little bit. And I said to her, what if you just kind of mess it up? You know, let's, we're done, let's try it. And the outcome of that ended up being our favorite, even though that wasn't planned. Nice. My best advice for someone that's developing a style is just to try anything. You know, I didn't know where I wanted to be. When I look back at my, you know, first portfolio, it's very fairy tale. And I still incorporate that a little bit, but I've gone more towards beauty and editorial. But for natural light porches, I still have that little fairy tale part in it. I actually won the VizTech Show as your best contest with this image right here. When you're being challenged and you feel like you're in a slump and you're maybe not good enough, just keep shooting through it. Get some models, get some friends if you don't know any models. Just go out and shoot, try different things and you'll get through that slump. Maybe you reach out to some photographers, ask if you can shadow them. You know, it's really cool to see what they do, assist people and you'll always take away something as well. Do what's right for you. If you want to keep it very consistent and people will look at your work and know it's yours, 
go for it. But if you want to experiment and try different things, go for it too. There's no right or wrong answer. It's whatever you want.